Oh, I love it when targets start changing their story, not adding to the story because that's to be expected upon further questioning. The witness will add facts with the right questions. But here we get a totally different story. Um, Lauren Collins joining me, investigative reporter, co-host of Primetime Crime on YouTube. Lauren, now, first of all, which is like a big red flag, okay? Jackie, I need a red flag to wave on the set because this, listen to this. He says <laughs> when he drops her off, he hears what sounds like a gunshot when he drives away. I mean, really, I love that eye roll. That, hey, I need that eye roll on video. I'm going to turn that into a meme. Um, <laughs> he hears a gunshot, when, a gunshot, but yet he just keeps driving. All right, that's the first story. Then he says he called the non-emergency. When I hear what I think is a gunshot, when, oh, a gunshot, I immediately call 911. They recognize my number. He says he called non-emergency an hour and a half after dropping her off. And they go, why? Why an hour and a half? And he goes, er, oh, darn, I screwed that up. His story changes. What's his new story, Lauren Conlon? Well, his next story was that she got shot in the thigh, and then police are like, well, she was shot in the head. They realize that he's lying. They take him down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, you left out the black man. Oh, yes. It's like Susan Smith. Man. All yes. over again. Blame yes. the black man. Okay. Yes. <laughs> wait, yes. wait, wait. Okay, Daryl Cohen. Daryl, do you remember who went on to become an incredible judge? My former trial partner, Herman Sloan, in our office. Okay. Oh, when of course. <laughs> Susan Smith. I happen to be, okay, he wasn't really my trial partner. He would just bail me out when I got in trouble in court, which is like every hour. He'd come in and have the right law and get me out of contempt. Anyway, great friend. <laughs> so the description that Susan Smith gave of the black man that took her children and carjacked her out in the middle of nowhere, there's a head on also of him. That's not the one. But there, <laughs> I saw that and I went, Herman, where were you? Because the front, not the side one at all, but the frontal face description she gave looked like Herman. He goes, I know, I've already been told. I look like the guy that carjacked Susan Smith's children. The black man, it's the, the black man did it. And here, we're hearing it again. He now claims that stopped at an intersection, somebody's been listening to Susan Smith, a black man armed with a gun approached the back passenger seat. How did that happen? How did a guy get from the intersection into the back passenger seat and demanded she hand over her valuables, not the driver, and she refused. He shot her in the thigh. I mean, really? Nancy, it's Maybe it was Herman Sloan. We call it PFA. Herman Sloan got off the bench, came over to that area, did a PFA, which is a pick from air. And all of a sudden she got shot in the thigh, which majestically and by as if by magic went straight up to her temple and she died. The magic bullet, like in the JFK shooting. Okay. No way. That's another thing for Dr. Dupree to explain how that shot in the thigh ends up going right to left in trajectory path through the victim's head. Okay, listen to this, guys. The investigator informs Valadez that Shanti's body was found and she wasn't shot in the leg. Valadez quickly changes his story again. Valadez still blames the mugger, but admits he panicked afterward and dumped Shanti's body. However, Valadez adds another odd comment saying that Shanti was clothed when he left her and whatever happened after I dumped her, I know nothing about. But you have to hear this. That's not all. Wait for it. Listen. Valadez tells investigators he's a 30-year-old virgin and asked Shanti if she would have sex with him during the ride. Valadez says Shanti refused him but eventually agreed for an undisclosed sum and undressed. Valadez claims that while he was struggling, Chanty made fun of him and eventually angered him so much that he shot her.